Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today um, we're going to go over the, the changes that were um, put out during the Challenger. Um, if you're not one of the 40,000 people that watch Challenger, um, this is going to be new info to you, so definitely pay attention. Um, for those of you that were watching it, uh, that was uh, that was incredible to see that many people supporting Gwent, so thumbs up to us uh, feels really good to uh, see the game come from down here to way up here um, really really awesome but uh, let's just go over some of the changes um, and stuff that they leaked uh, next week everyone is gonna have access to the PTR um, normally this is for like a select few and it requires you to sign a non-disclosure agreement and everything they're giving it to everybody, so you're going to get to play with all the new cards for um, to test everything out to see what you want to craft, what you don't want to play, and uh, I think this is in, this is just awesome. It's like it's so good. I'm I'm so excited to put out some some new content. Um, hopefully here in the next couple of days, um, probably be tomorrow. I w I would imagine. Uh, the new integrated deck builder, it looks really good. Um, you don't have to cycle through. Everything's on the right-hand side here, or left-hand side. And you just build your deck over here instead of it being that the row lane thing. So that's really cool there. I'm a, I'm a fan. Um there's a new holiday event coming up which is really cool for Christmas it involves the Phoenix card which we'll go over here in a minute um, all the starter decks are going to be reworked so that's really cool as well no more triple card art so no more Queens guards um, Temerian infantrymen um, clan and crate warriors or shield shield smiths or whatever the one with derp face um, no more of that I don't know if they're going to give you scrap recovery for that I'd imagine they will but um, there's some other cards I'm curious to see if you know the answer to this put it in the comments but we'll go over that in a bit uh, the new mulligan system is I, I people are giving giving them a lot of crap over this I think it looks good um, to me this just screams though friendly 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 mobile version like this just fits perfectly on your phone so I'm so excited for this I I I just can't wait. I mean, I I just absolutely cannot wait to play Gwen on my phone. Um, tons of new effects. The the effects, I mean, it's just pluses and minuses. There are some really really cool new um, hazards and boons that are going to be released, and th they just look incredible. Um, no mention of the new game mode yet. It's it's going to be draft mode. It has to be. There's there's no other logical choice for it um, but these are the new cards uh, this art is actually wrong on this one um, full test pride they took the art from catapult and put it on here I'm so disappointed in this card I wanted a good northern realms silver machine and this just isn't it it's 10 strength damage an enemy by two and move it to the row above um, crude repeatability so it's 12 strength and you might completely kill something because the row limit I forgot to mention the the row limit is nine um, so any if you move a, a unit to the row down and it's already filled up that unit is destroyed it's completely gone so it does have the, the potential to kill something but 10 strength and I don't know. This one just seems... I'm really, really disappointed in this one. And it's full test. Like, full test doesn't even use machines. It's it's Hensult or, or Radovid, really. Uh, Sabrina Spectre, Mage Cursed. She resurrects a bronze cursed unit. Five strength. The cursed units, the bronze ones, I don't really know if you want to be resin them. Uh... We'll have to wait and see on this one. Every one of the factions has a a rune stone. I think the Nilfgaard one's the one that's going to be the one 
that a lot of people are going to play, and it's just going to be absolutely bonkers because they have just so many good silvers that they can pull. Um, I would play it in Nilfgaard automatically. Uh, Vandergriff's Blade. Uh, choose one. Destroy a bronze or silver cursed enemy or deal nine damage. If that unit was destroyed, banish it. So, not sure on this one. They show this as bronze. I believe this is a silver card. Um... It just seems like it's way too powerful to be bronze. <laughs> it's not that it's 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 not really that great, but um, it, it's okay. But I believe this is a silver card. I believe they have this wrong on Gwent DB. Uh, Adarian's Mauler deal four damage to an enemy. Um, I think the damage should be just left up to the machines. Uh, if you're going to play damage, I mean, you can get way more over it. You can't replay this. Like a machine, you can replay it for more value. This is just, you know, 11 strength straight up, or, well, 11 points total. Not not that great. I mean, if you're going to damage something, play machines. Uh, Flavendril, create a silver special card. She's the new Scoia'tael leader. Um, some of these just, this one doesn't seem too bad, um, and you can't even pull these rune stones to add another choice to it, it's a special card, so, it seems like it can either draw something really, it's, it's gonna be hit or miss, uh, I don't know about this, I, I think I'll stick with my... Ethne, Francesca, and Bruver. They're both just really, really good leaders. I think she's going to get left in the dust. Um, Araka's Queen Monsters gets an extra leader. They get their fifth leader ahead of time. And he, she actually has Unseen's current um, ability, but she's immune. So it, it can't get targeted. You can only scorch this or AoE it with like Lacerate or something like that. So, five strength. I mean, Unseen's pretty good. I mean, it depends on how the other cards are changed for to see how this is going to play out. I imagine that um, there's going to be some things changed to consume, even though if you watch Challenger, some of those games were pretty painful to watch with the mulligans and the bricked hands that happened. So... I don't know if you're gonna to want to be running this. Um, I mean, it, it's 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 a good leader. I mean, there's a reason why Unseen's seeing play, but you got we gotta wait and see what the cards change. At, you know, when they do um, drop this, Old Spear Tip and Sleeping Giant have been busted up into two cards. I'm curious if you have one of these in your collection. If you'll get both of them, they both seem okay, but. Um, First old spear tip, he's an augroid. Um, he's 10 strength, deal 2 damage to up to 5 enemies on the opposite row. So he's he's 20 in, in the best case scenario. He's 12 in a worst case scenario. So, I mean, old spear tip really isn't played right now. So whether or not this, this comes into play, we'll have to wait and see. I... I, I love the way old Spirit Tip used to be, but then again, he was a silver at one time, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Sleeping Giant, he's 12 strength, strength in all augroids by one wherever they are, so he's a, he's a full test um, for for the augroids. Another one, how many augroids are you going to fit in the deck? You know, I I don't see the if if anyone's gonna get played, it's gonna be old spear tip. I don't know about the sleeping giant. Um, Al Ghul, um, this card looks really really like just this guy's hideous. <laughs> uh, consume a bronze or silver unit from the graveyard. He got um, Necarat or Catacan's old ability, um, so it's it's probably always gonna be uh, a consume. Um, staple card so you're going to play it with the the new queen some of the other cards um bear barb gazi 
Uh, consume an ally, boost from self. So he's the old Ekimara. Ekimara is apparently going to be changed. So it's an insectoid. So you can use this with Bruhin, which is pretty cool. Granted, it's going to revert back to base strength after the round, but you know maybe it, that one extra point gets it out of muzzle range who knows if muzzle is going to be changed maybe muzzle is going to be different probably not but uh fork tail he's a draconoid consume two allies and boost stealth by their power now this seems really nuts um if you're going to play the like the necker spam to have an extra thing that could consume two of them at one time um Will it be any good? It depends on how Neckers play out. Um, it, it, it is a boost, though, so uh, Gerald Yurden will knock this thing down a peg real quick. Uh, Werecat, Beast Cursed, deal 5 damage to an enemy, then deal 1 damage to all enemies under Blood Moon. Um, so the blood moons down here with moonlight. Um, this one, I don't know about this one. It uh, it's ten, and then it can be like a little mini lacerate. It it depends on how good the moonlight uh, blood moon hazard thing is gonna work out. Uh, I'm definitely gonna give it a try. It'll be probably the first monster deck that I give a go because. I love the bridge troll. I think the bridge troll is awesome. Um, moonlight, special hazard boon. Choose one. Apply full moon or blood moon. They don't tell you what it is. They just show you the card. <laughs> Another kind of teaser there. Um, I don't know about this. It, I, I think it's going it, to... For them to keep it so under wraps, it's got to be really good. It's It's got to be something that's going to really impact the game to to keep this thing under wraps for this long um ice troll he's an augroid duel an enemy if it's under frost deal double damage uh so i guess you would include this in your wild hunt list um and then you can have Jotun with it as well and you can really start punishing but i mean if you have something under frost do you really want to kill it i mean the idea is to keep stuff in there to keep that attrition damage going but maybe like a two of to knock something really big down so you can deal eight damage so it can be 12 plus whatever slowly ticks off of it might be okay it's it's definitely not a three of though um clan marauder he's seven strength deal four damage if resurrected, deal six damage instead. Um, so eleven. It can be thirteen. I don't know why you would run these instead of harpooners, though. The harpooners got more strength than you're you're gonna. Well, I guess you. Uh, I I would probably run harpooners still if they're still the same when the the game drops. Um, the Usurper, this card, I don't really, I don't really understand this. Um, he's a spy and he can create a, create any leader and boost it by two. So it's going to give you three choices of a leader boosted by two. It's a spy. So it goes in with your, once you play it, you can use your enforcers and, brigades to boost it um and then he's gonna play a leader that's created out of nowhere so it might be calve and you might be able to thin through your list or it might be one of the create leaders and you create another card out of it and boost it um it seems like like milk guard just is such this like well-oiled machine i don't know if you want to put something like this in that machine that's random like that 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 list the way it functions right now this 
this seems like it. I mean, it, it seems like it's a good card. I mean, you're playing a spy, you're getting a leader that's boosted out of it. So it's already outgunning your opponent's leader, probably. Um, I like it. I, I think it's cool. Um, I just think the other leaders are going to, they're just going to function a lot better. Um, and I still think this card is going to be incredible. I would, I'd put it in a Nilf card list, no problem. I don't care what cards it creates. Most Nilf card cards are going to be really, really good. I mean, you just run down a list of some of the silvers, and it's probably going to create one of those really good ones that you can you can pull. Um, Henry Vatier, Vatier, he's seven strength. He looks like the the guy from Milan, by the way. <laughs> um, he has a new ability. It's conceal any number of units if allies... Uh, conceal any number of units if allies boost by two if enemies deal two damage. So the conceal means you flip the card back over. So you revealed it. Now you flip it back over. Um... I think this card will be, this version will be pretty good. I mean, you're going to get, you know, you're you're just going to have to keep a mental note of what cards you saw so that you don't forget. But he could flip over a bunch of them, and I think he's going to be pretty decent in reveal. Um, next up, Sentry. It's a soldier. Boost all copies of soldiers by two. Oh, wow. Um... I don't remember seeing this one on the stream. Um, this seems really good, especially if the um, the buff soldiers uh, stay the same. This seems like it'll fit real nice with the soldier list. Um, plus two, it's like a, a mini full test. I mean, you drop it on the board, you got a bunch of soldiers on the board. It's like a bronze yennefer i mean that's that's pretty good i think i think this card's great um just depends on how good the soldiers are going to be um master of the skies uh he's a soldier agent i don't know what an agent is yet but uh eight strength conceal two cards now this one i don't think is very good um this one at least it it has a little bit higher of a ceiling. This one, you're just covering up some cards, and he doesn't really gain anything out of it. I guess you can reconceal the fire scorpions and play them again. Um, I don't know about this one. This the, this one seems okay for reveal. This one, not so much. <sighs> Slave infantry. This card, the premium on this, looks nuts i mean absolutely nuts uh, spawn a copy it's four strength spawn a copy of this unit on your other rows so you play one and it's automatically 12 so it's already lining you up for for ale synergy which is pretty cool um and it's a soldier so you play these two that seems pretty good for like a soldier swarm deck, swarm deck. Um, yeah, maybe 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 Nilfgaard soldiers is gonna be a thing. Um, I'll definitely give it a try. It's it seems really cool. Um, Phoenix, I guess the the winter midwinter adventure or event is based on this card. Um, it's resurrected bronze or silver draconoid, so you can pull Merktabrac, you could pull Octvist, you could pull that Consume one that was up here for monsters, any draconoid. Um, five strength. There's not really that many draconoids, and I mean nobody really plays Octvist. Merktabrac might be okay if you're you run in some type of scorch list. Really amazing premium, um, but. I, I don't know about this one. I don't I don't think it's gonna see play at all really. Um, this card though, I am absolutely in love with with this card art. It is incredible. It might be the best premium 
Gwent has. I think it's amazing. Um, Agora, Relic Cursed, and she has like this big long list, but she gets to choose two things. She can um, boost the lowest ally by five, boost a random unit in your hand by five, deal five damage to the highest enemy, charm an enemy elf with five power or less. Um, now granted, if you're playing against Scoia'tael, this is, this might be, you get to steal something that's five strength, but, uh, any card that has options like this, I always think is going to be really good. Um, I, I, I really think I'm going to craft this card, even if I don't, if I don't pull it out of my kegs, I will definitely craft this card. I think it's incredible. I think it it's just it might not be the best card but it, it's something that has this these kind of options can always help you out I think um, and then she has her true form uh, relic cursed and it's just create a bronze or silver spell three strength I mean it might be something good it might be something it, the, the create cards it's it's a crapshoot it, it really is um, not really a fan of this one this one though I really do like um, especially if you're playing hand buff if you could play if hand buff can somehow see the light of day this card is auto include in it um, I just I, I think it's great I just think it's absolutely great um, dragon's dream special item alchemy apply a hazard to the enemy row that will explode and deal four damage to all units when a different special card is played. Now this card, it sounds like it's really crazy, but the thing is, is you play it and then you have to play a spell after that in order for it to work. So even if you play this and you're behind, you have to play another card just to get ahead. And if they clear it, you just played a card and it didn't do anything. So while it's it's probably the um bomb that vesemir throws in the uh, halloween event which had really sick art or uh it was a sick hazard on your opponent's board but uh this card is just just junk <laughs> it's a shame because it's such a really cool premium card but um yeah probably avoid this one uh glorious hunt this card's really weird um, if you're losing, you spawn an Imperial Mana Core. If you're winning, spawn Mana Core Venom. So, if you're losing, you play a Mana Core, which you could just play Mana Core anyways. If you're winning, you could play Mana Core Venom and nuke your opponent for, for, I think it's 12, might be 13. But, it's a special tactics card. You can pull it with John Natalis. <laughs> I'm not sure if you would, but, um, yeah, just, it's, it, it's a really weird card. Um, not sure about it. Um, uh, rock slide, deal two damage to the, to the, deal two damage to up to ten random enemies. So it's like the, um, the old, uh, overdose. So apparently overdose is gone and this is rock slide. Um, I mean, nobody really played Overdose to begin with, so, um, and then there's Reconnaissance. Look at two bronze units in your deck and play one. Uh, so this is like, it's a special tactics card, so you could play this with John Natalis too. Um, this is the Rally Art, so apparently Clear Skies is going to be its own separate card again, and it's not going to have... And rally is going to be its own thing, or reconnaissance. And rally maybe is going away. Um, this will probably be something you could play in. I I, I would imagine Nilfgaard. You could find some good stuff with it. It might be the like one of to play with John Natalis. I would think. Uh, I don't believe you can pull these with Mercs though. They only pull spells, but uh, cool card. I, I, I any anything that lets you pick. Um, 
I think is pretty good. And then there was a couple more. Golden Froth, Neutral Bronze, Special Boon. So apply a boon to an allied row and boost two random units by one. So it's the it's it's the the ale from the ancient ale. It, it's its own set special spell. Um, I mean two points per turn. It depends on how big weather is going to be. If you can override negative weather with positive weather, this might be okay, but it's probably not going to be that great. And then the last one, Clan Smuggler, 10 Strength, Skellige Bronze Rare. It's a Soldier Divin. Return a bronze unit from your graveyard to your deck. Um, this one, I'm not real sure on. Um, I guess you can return Raiders to your hand, or, or your, your deck, if you wanted to keep discarding them if, if you needed to maybe it's probably like a one of to just you know possibly put something back in your deck to discard for even say like madman lugos you could throw something back into your deck to use it again um it's probably a one of um uh, Seems like it'll 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 find a way into a brand list, but uh, yeah, that's that's the last of the cards. Uh, we'll get the PTR here pretty soon. Uh, like always, guys, thank you for watching. Um, really, really big things coming for Gwent. Um, for those of you that have been here for a while, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I, I try to get out as much content as I can and try to keep things as fresh as humanly possible. So. To have new cards coming is going to definitely reinvigorate me on content creation. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. And hopefully some new people, if you're new to the, the channel, maybe hit the thumbs up button for me. I greatly appreciate it. But uh, like always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the PTR.